Hey you guys, what's up? It's Crow here. I've got another little tutorial for you guys. I saw a lot of comments in the last tutorial video asking for stuff about dribbling, flicking, um, carrying the ball, some stuff for 1v1. So I figured I could do that for you guys. It's something very doable. And let's just hop right into it. Um, there are a couple things that I need to kind of start with and say at the beginning is that this is gonna be something pretty basic. A lot of the things that I, I, that are more high level in 1v1s, a lot of those things need to happen in an actual high level 1v1 and need to be analyzed. And I don't have very many high level 1v1 replays just on hand. So a lot of this is gonna focus more on the mechanics side of things, like actually how to keep the ball up on your car for a long period of time, how to flick the ball, how to bounce dribble, and ways to train your mechanics. That's what this is more gonna be focused on. A lot of the timing aspects, like when to flick the ball, like knowing, okay, somebody's going for me, so I need to flick it now. Knowing that stuff, um, we'll need more like high level 1v1 analysis or some replays. But a lot of that stuff can also just be practiced by playing the 1v1 ladder on your own. Maybe you see this video and you get your mechanics down, you can dribble the ball a little bit better. You know how to dribble, but just play some 1v1s, and over time you'll learn when to dribble. But definitely, definitely play some real 1v1s. But yeah, now that that's out of the way, we can begin. So the first step for a lot of people is just getting the ball on top of your car. If you're going to... Actually, let's go, let's go one step back. Not even keep the ball on top of your car. Let's just talk about the bounce dribble first. You don't even need to be able to keep the ball on top of your car. You can do this without knowing how to like dribble at all, really. But this is kind of a dribble. So the bounce dribble is just basically what I'm doing now. I'm just waiting for the ball right as it bounces, to touch it. Or basically just right after it bounces. You want to catch it on its way up from the bounce, but you want to make sure it doesn't it doesn't roll and it doesn't land on top of your car. You just want to make sure that it continues the bounce, and it's very important that it stays bouncing and it's so that you can shoot the ball or attack the ball whenever you want. If you see that you have a lot of space in a 1v1 or an opponent's not going for the ball, and you have a little bit of time on your hands, the bounce dribble is great. Especially if they decide to sit in the net and try to save your shot instead of challenge you for it. Because with a bounce dribble, you can transition any of those bounces into a shot. Because the best way to shoot the ball is to wait for it to bounce, and right as it bounces on its way back up, you flip into it with the corner of your car, and uh, you'll, you'll hit a pretty sick boomer. And with a bounce dribble, you're able to control that. You're able to get nice and close to somebody if they're sitting in net, and if they don't go for it, you basically get to pick where your shot is. And you can practice in free training just pretending that somebody's on one side of the net, and then boom. Shoot it, you know, to the other side. You know, kind of pretend in your mind that there's somebody in that you need to put it somewhere and then just bounce dribble it. Just pretend, okay, they're not going for it. Okay, I'm gonna bounce it. There we go, I shoot. You know, and just pick a side of the net to shoot towards. Also, alternatively, if you see them go for the ball really early, but you're bounce dribbling it, you don't have to shoot it. You can just hit it to the side, keep it around them. The bounce dribble is great at keeping possession, which is in 1v1s, very important. Making sure that your opponent doesn't want to go for the ball because he knows if he goes for it, he's going to lose. But if he sits in net, you know, they have to make a really good save or they are screwed. So the bounce dribble is really, really good at the right time. Sometimes you don't have time to do a bounce dribble or you don't want to go that slow. And that's where flicking the ball comes in handy is when somebody's constantly challenging you very early and the bounce dribble is just not working or you just don't have enough time to make it work. I feel like it's great at getting really good height on the ball and then picking the ball up later or flicking it directly into the net. You can flick it over somebody and then chase it down and try to score it. Or you can just flick it directly into the net. But you need to be able to keep the ball on top of your car. And for some people that's, that's difficult. So I'm here to show you how to keep the ball on top of your car so that you can flick it. So if you're good at, you know, if you can get the ball on top of your car, the best practice and the best way to train is just to, in free training, just do this. Just count, maybe get a timer, I don't know. Just try to see how long you can keep this ball up. Just don't let it touch the ground. 
if you could theoretically do this forever, then you're good. You can move on to, you know, flicks and whatnot. But if doing something like this is a struggle, it's totally fine because I've got a little, little life hack. Um, I've seen other people recommend this as well, and I have to say it, it's very helpful. A lot of dribbling is just making sure you maintain speed with the ball. It's not really about micromanaging your movements left or right. It's just making sure you're going the same speed as the ball so it stays in the center of your car. And you can practice speed control by just trying to maintain the ball on this part of the wall. Just drive on the gray part, roll the ball up the wall a little bit, and just try to keep it there. Just try to make sure the ball stays right here. It doesn't touch the ground, but it doesn't go over your car, just right here. And even going this slow, you can speed it up a little bit, you can try going a little bit faster. But just doing this is great practice at learning how fast you need to go. Once you feel pretty comfortable with the speed of the ball, you can incorporate boost into your dribbles. You know, try boosting for a little bit, slowing down, getting some turns. But ultimately, dribbling is about maintaining the center of the ball. If you can see right now, the ball is in the, I'm in the center of the indicator. I'm perfectly in the circle, which means that if I don't touch my controller, I should be able to not touch my stick and the ball will just continue to go that direction no matter what. And as your car leaves the circle under the ground here, to one side, the ball will go to the other side. So you need to correct. If you go too far forward, you need to slow down. If you go too far back, you need to speed up. But the ball is in the center of your car. If your car is in the center of this ball indicator on the ground here. So I, th I thought that was also another great tip if you're trying to understand how to keep the ball on top of your car. Now, of course, in a real game, you're not going to want to be looking at the ground. You don't, you don't want to be keeping the ball up in, on your car, but somebody's challenging you and you're too busy looking at the ground. It's just a great way to practice and train this. Once you get comfortable with it and you can do it without really like looking at the ground, like let's say I'm looking in net at my opponent, you know, the more comfortable you get with it, the more you'll be able to look away or look back for a split second just to check where you are and then look back up, look around, kind of check all of your surroundings as you're dribbling instead of just looking at the ground the whole time. But being able to flick means being able to carry the ball. Once you can carry the ball, you need to be able to flick the ball. And a flick is just front flipping or you know back flipping. Any kind of flip really will work while you're carrying the ball. And this gives the ball a lot of height and most importantly for momentum at the same time. You don't even really need any initial speed to go with to flick. You, know, you can be going really slow, but a flick will still get a good amount of power. So your flick will act differently depending on how you flip and when you flip. If the ball is dead center on your car, when you front flip flick, it's gonna go very high. It's not gonna have much forward momentum. It's just gonna go high in the air. If the ball's closer to the, the hood of your car, not really the top, it's gonna go more forward if you let it drop. I'm gonna try not missing the ball though. It's gonna have a lot of forward, or, uh, forward momentum and a little bit less height, but a, a very diagonal kind of arc if you get it more in the front of your car. And typically in the midfield, um, getting it more on the front of your car is good because if you're too close to the goal and you get it really, really high and really far, it's just gonna bounce off the backboard and you might get scored on. So. Really only keep it on the center of your car, dead center when you flick, if you need to maybe double jump it or front flip and pop it really, really high. Alternatively, if you want an extra high flick, you can keep it on the spoiler of your car and back flip. And it might go a little backwards, it might go a little forward, it might just go straight up depending on some timing and some speed and momentum. But most of the time it's going to pop very, very high. But you can't front flip with it on your spoiler because you're just, you're just gonna miss the ball. It just, it just doesn't work. You can also barrel roll a flick to the left or the right. If you feel like maybe you're off target or a front flip really, like, like let's say I'm here, I can't front flip and get it on net, so maybe I have to barrel roll. Your barrel roll flicks can pop the ball straight in the air if you do it right. There's a lot of flexibility in flicking the ball and a lot of it just comes down to how you flip and where the ball is when you first start your jump. But if it's on top of your car, you should be good to go. You could even delay your flick. You could jump 
wait a second, and then flip. And from close range, this gets kind of spooky, especially in a high level 1v1 if you if you fake doing this, like you pretend to flick, like you jump and don't do anything. Is some people might think you're faking and then you actually flick it. It's a very, very, very good move. But there, there's a lot of options. And you could even do for like some kind of backflip flick, like a 180 backflip. There's a lot of creativity that goes into dribbling and flicking. And a lot of that, you know, practice and mastery is going to happen here in free training. So if you want to get good at flicks and, you know, in turn get good at 1v1s, just sit in free training or, or play legitimate 1v1s if you don't like free training. Just actually play 1v1s and just try to flick the ball all the time. Against real people, they're going to be challenging you. They might see that you're going high all the time on your flicks. And they might challenge really early or they might challenge high. And you eventually learn these timings on, okay, I'm carrying the ball, I'm carrying the ball. I need to flick it because he's going for it. You learn those timings over time. But definitely play against real people. I tried playing against bots for the stream, for the uh, recording rather, and the bots just play a little wonky. They don't, they just like drive with the ball until they get close enough to where like a double jump will hit the ball because they're just, you know, a bunch of code piled together in a car. They're just robots. So play against real people for sure. Another great resource for practicing carrying the ball is the workshop. If you're on PC and you, you know, on Steam, this is great. Definitely download the latest dribbling challenge by French Fries. It's, I think it's top on the workshop right now, but it's got 30 levels. And as you can see, lots of levels. It's got 30 levels. The first couple are very beginner friendly and it, it starts to ramp up pretty fast, but go, go as far as you can in this. Maybe try it every day at least one time and see if you can beat your high score. Like, oh, I got to level 5, okay. Tomorrow I got to level 6, oh, the next day I got to level 10, you know. Challenge yourself, but essentially this whole workshop is to make sure you don't touch the floor. Your car can drive on these gray surfaces, but the ball can't. The ball falls through these surfaces, and the objective is to get it into the goal. So it's great practice for just having a target to aim at while you carry the ball. And you can even try to flick the ball or dribble somebody in net at the end of these if you're okay with you know potentially resetting. You can see how far you can get your flick. Be careful not to flick it too far over the net. I've accidentally, in some harder stages, accidentally flicked the ball over the net in an attempt to uh, save time. <laughs> so, but these are these are great for practicing the mechanic of keeping the ball up on your car. And I'm not saying that these are easy. They're definitely going to get frustrating being able to make these turns. You know, maybe you see people do it all the time, being able to carry the ball and dribble it. But everybody's different. Everybody has an easier time with some things. Maybe you're great at aerials, but you want to work on your dribbles. It's, it's okay. You're not going to get it immediately. This is something where you spend a lot of hours in the game trying to get. And you're not going to get it every time. But yeah, just wanted to showcase the uh, the workshop for you guys because I think I think it's a pretty fun and engaging tool. It can be a lot more fun than just an empty free training map. So if you're getting bored in free training of keeping the ball up in the air, just maybe maybe go to the workshop. And if you're on a console, then it feels bad, man. But free training is still very good. Free training basically achieves the same purpose. It's just a little bit less interactive. So, just wanted to uh, give these tips for you guys, maybe help you guys understand a little more about dribbling, a little more about flicking the ball. Um, but just as a reminder, you can also bounce dribble. You don't need to carry the ball. You can bounce it a bunch and then take a shot. Because at the end of the day, this is about being able to score in a 1v1 mindset. So if your opponent's going to sit back and do nothing, a bounce dribble is actually usually much better than a flick. Almost always. If they're going to sit back and you, know, you made them scared and they don't want to go for the ball, a bounce dribble is almost always better if you can shoot the ball well. But if they keep challenging you over and over really early, 
and they're like ball chasing, then flicks are pretty good in my opinion. Because if they go for it, you know, they've committed way past you. And your car doesn't move very much in a flick, whereas the ball moves quite far. The ball will move a lot forward, and you won't move very far at all. You'll move about, about one flip length. So keep these tips in mind. And don't forget that practice makes perfect. And have fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned a little bit.